Morning folks, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School. This morning in our Materia Medica series, we're going to discuss probably the most versatile tree as far as medicine goes in the eastern woodlands, and that is the pine. Stay with me because almost every part of the pine has medicinal value. All right, so let's first talk about pine sap. Any area where a pine tree has been injured, it's going to excrete sap to help protect the tree from contamination and help heal itself. That sap is highly medicinal and we can collect it raw. We can store it, although it will get hard over time, but we can actually mix it with some type of oil-based product or beeswax to keep it in a softer state and put it in a tin to save for later use. So this is a little bit out of reach for me. I'm gonna shove a stick up there and grab as much of it as I can. If I drop some of it on the ground, I'm definitely gonna pick that up. Get as much of it as I can on the stick and pull it off a little at a time. All right, so we got a pretty good amount of sap just off of that spot on that one tree. And because it's injured, it's gonna keep generating that sap especially in warmer weather. So we'll come back in a week or so if we need to and get some more. It's a renewable resource to a certain extent for a certain period of time. Okay, so let's talk about this pine sap real quick and its medicinal value. We can use it straight off the tree. Just grab it right off the tree and slather it onto a cut or something like that as an antibacterial ointment. And that is the power of this pine sap is that it's highly antibacterial, it's antifungal, and it has drawing properties. So if we've got a festered up splinter or a sting or something like that, a stinger we can't get out, we wanna draw something from underneath the skin, we can slap a big poultice of that pine resin on there and that will help to remove that abscess. But at the same time, it's highly effective for any type of cut or scrape as an antiseptic and antibacterial ointment that you just spread onto the wound itself. Now you can also use this pine resin as a temporary filling if you lose a filling or break off a tooth or something like that and you have an exposed nerve and you're in the field you can take this with some type of a binder like cattail fluff mix it together into a paste and stuff it into that open area of your tooth and use it as a temporary filling until you can get out as well okay so let's talk for a minute about pine needles and again white pine is optimal and you want to stay away from long leaf species of pine we're going to make an infusion with these pine needles that will be high in vitamin C and it will also be antiseptic. So it's going to boost our immune system and it's going to help curb any infection that we may have in our throat and things like that. That's one good use for it. You can also use that tea as a wash or a fomentation on external skin that's been irritated, has a rash, has open sores, you've got a cut or a scrape or something like that. All of that, you can use that wash for of that same pine needle tea that you can take internally. If we go beyond that and we talk about the inner bark of the pine, that inner bark can be boiled down into a decoction and that can be consumed and it will irritate the throat and become an expectorant and help us to cough up phlegm and things like that, any loose mucus that we can't get out. It will help us to expel that from our system as well as being an antiseptic in our throat as well. So there's lots and lots of things that we can do with the pine tree, and many of them, most of them actually, we can do on the fly. Now all I've done is light this stove up to melt this pine sap. And I'm going to be mixing in some fiction wax or camp wax, depending on what you have. But I want to wait until it's completely melted to mix it in. As soon as it gets to heat where it's going to flame up, turn your gas off and blow it out. Let it settle for a minute. We're just trying to get the wax melted into it right now so we can stir it up and mix it a little bit. When it looks like it's not doing anything anymore, it's cooling down, heat it up again for a second. Blow it out when it catches fire. You want to wear safety glasses when you're doing this kind of stuff. I 
Let it go till it flames up. Blow it out, turn it off. Let it cook. All right, so once this thing starts to solidify, here's what we're going to have. Pretty nice salve that we can use as an antiseptic, antibacterial, wound dressing, things like that. All right, guys, well, I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters in the Pathfinder School. And I appreciate you joining me out here today for this video on the pine and its many uses as a medicinal. I appreciate your views, I appreciate your support. Thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, for our business, for all of our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. Thanks, guys.